You know, I was the king of self-sabotage for so long. <laughs> it's really, when I think about it, it's really, really, it's really hard and, and sometimes hard to fathom to believe that I am where I am now, never believing that that was possible. So, you know, if, I guess if I was to give a message to somebody out there, whether it be a woman or a man, it makes no difference. You know, I'm in my 60s now, and I really don't believe that, you know, what happened to us has to define us. And, um, and I'm an example of that, and, I, and I'm not afraid to say so. You know, uh, um, and I will continue to do so because, you know, I've learned that by holding on to what I held on to for all that time, and yes, of course, it still hurts. But the only difference is with me now is that it doesn't own me, right? Um, sexual abuse can't own you if you let it.